Illinois basketball is on a roll right now, heading into Thursday's matchup against Maryland, winning eight of their last nine, starting Big Ten play 3-0, and being atop the standings right now with a two-game lead over some other teams people thought might contend for the crown in the conference, and that includes Michigan and Purdue. The line big man, Kofi Coburn, deservedly is getting a lot of the attention. He's second in the country right now in scoring. He's third in rebounding. He's an absolute force and should be, by the end of the year, a unanimous All-American to go on top of last year's consensus second-team All-American honors. He's one of the all-time greats at Illinois. Also, you've had Alfonso Plummer, the Utah transfer, really step up and do a huge scoring role to fill some of the hole, the void left by Io DeSumo. And he's one of the best scorers in the country, especially from beyond the arc uh, can just really get hot and crush teams, especially with all the attention that Kofi Coburn gets in the middle. Trent Frazier, a veteran, is well known as well for his two-way play. But another guy that should be getting more attention regionally, nationally, and in my opinion, should be considered an all-Big Ten player by the end of the year is Jacob Grandison. Here's why I think by the end of the year, he should be in the mix for all Big Ten honors. Right now, Grandison is the fourth most efficient player offensively in the country, according to Ken Palm, with an offensive rating, O rating of 142. He's currently 15th in the country with a three-point percentage of 52.8%. And among that top 15, he's attempted the third most three-point attempts at 53 In my opinion, the comp right now is what Isaiah Livers did for Michigan last season to deservedly earn all Big Ten honors. In 23 games last season, he had some injury issues. Livers averaged 13.1 points, shot 45.7%, shot 43.1% from three, and had six rebounds and two assists per game. Grandison right now has similar numbers to Livers. He's averaging 12.7 points, but shooting 10% better from the field at 56.8%, shooting almost 9% better, almost 10% actually from three at 52.8. And is also averaging 4.3 rebounds and 2.3 assists. Grandison right now is 23rd in the Big Ten in scoring, but only two players among the conference's top 25 scorers have taken fewer shots, and that's Purdue big men Trevion Williams and Zach Eady, both who should be all Big Ten as well. Grandison's consistency also is sticking out right now. He's made at least three field goals and scored at least eight points in all but one game this season, and that was the blowout loss to Cincinnati. And he's made multiple three-point attempts in nine of 12 games, including seven straight. Grandison doesn't get the focus Livers did because he wasn't a star last year like Livers was the year prior to his final season at Michigan. But Grandison didn't have to be on a team with Io DeSumo, Kofi Coburn, Trent Frazier, and Andre Curbelo. He just had to be a role player. And when he was inserted into the starting lineup, Illinois went 15-2 and the rest of the season. He came from Holy Cross, where he was the leading scorer. He sacrificed his role. And now, after Io DeSumo, Adam Miller move on, he has taken, up, uh, taken his game up a notch and has been even more efficient. This season, Coburn is still there. Plummer is one of the most dangerous scorers in the country. But Grandison is a huge reason the Illini are firing on all cylinders offensively right now. He might not be the biggest name on the Illini, but in my opinion, Jacob Grandison is playing like an all-Big Ten player right now.